guys, uh, I'm doing the um, On This Day in History um, for April 21st, 1789. You may hear the bobcat outside that's been crying. Um, but and today, this is the On This Day, right? Not a journal, and On This Day. But On This Day in 1789, George Washington had a reception, if you will, in Trenton, New Jersey. Now, what's going on in April of 1789? Remember, we talked about, about the Constitution, and it was ratified, and now we're going to have a new president, right? We had no presidency under the Articles of Confederation. Now, he was sworn in as president in New York City on April 30th. So it took him some time to go from his house in Virginia, Mount Vernon, and stopped in Philly, right? And he was going on his way, and eventually he left the barge in New Jersey to go across New York City. So one of the stops was in Trenton. And the people of Trenton were so excited that Washington was going to stop through there. Um, and they sort of hosted um, a celebration. And the social club, the ladies of Trenton Social Club, hosted this. So... There's a little bit of a little typo there. I should say on his way from his home at Mount Vernon to his first inauguration in then capital, New York City. So they built an arch. Okay, an arch was about 20 feet tall. Um, it had 13 pillars. Why do you think 13? Why do you think? That's right, because there were 13 colonies and the now 13 states. Um, and it was erected over this bridge um, to commemorate. Now, this was not Washington's first time in Trenton. Right as a as a commander of the of the Patriot forces, um, and he helped win two battles: the Battle of Trenton and the Battle of Assapunk Creek. So in 1776 and 1777, it's 12 years later, um, and he's back here. Um, on the arch, it said, "The defender of the mothers will also protect their daughters." So like 12 years ago, you protected us. Now you as president will protect our daughters. So think of how like sort of dramatic this was. He crossed the Delaware River to, to Trenton Ferry. Then he entered the city riding a, a white horse. And that was done on purpose. Remember what we discussed? How did Washington have to guide becoming the first president without trying to be the monarch? Right? What do you call the president? Should he have a saber on his side? Um, how do you make himself more democratic than a king? But all people were sort of used to was having a king. Um, so as he came here, he had all these girls, all these girls dressed in white, throwing flowers at him, flower petals. And they were singing a song, Hail Mighty Chief, right? That's what they thought he should be called, the Mighty Chief. Um, and it was just a big, big night. And then later that night, there was um, a tavern there. Um, and they had a dinner and a reception as well. But um, when he was leaving Trenton, before he left, he wanted to leave a note behind for the woman that had this big to-do. Now, remember how we discussed how formal he wrote, like how formal he wrote when his stepson died? He refers to himself in the third person here. So listen, he wrote, General Washington cannot leave this place without expressing his acknowledgments to the matrons and young ladies who received him in so novel and grateful a manner at the Triumph Arch in Trenton, for the exquisite sensation he experienced in that affecting moment. The astonishing contrast between his former and actual situation at the same spot, the elegant taste with which it was adorned for the present occasion, and the innocent appearance of the white-robed choir, who met him with the gratulatory song, have made such impressions on his remembrance, as he assures them, will never be effaced. So very formal, but showing his thankfulness. And in about nine days, he eventually becomes president. He leaves here, and I think his next stop was Princeton. Okay, so, I mean, I, I'm not going to connect this to National Poetry Month, unless you want to think that his letter was like poetry. I'm sure you could do that. But how does this relate to persistence, to empathy, to reflection, hmm, to collaboration? How is this related to anything else we've learned before? And you guys know we learned about the revolution. We learned about Washington's presidency. So this should be an easy one for you. All right. See you guys next class.